Haiti is not necessarily, uh, you know, miserable country. We, we are, we have lack of a lot of, we have lack of a, a lot of resources, but we're not miserable. Mm -hmm. um, we enjoy life. We, we make the best of what we have. And uh, Haitians are creative. Uh, a lot of times I've seen people come in and say, oh, why don't you do this? Why don't you try this and that and this and that? I will tell you, Haitians are creative. Like, if something's not, like, if, if, we, if something's not done, been done, it's not because we don't try it. We've not tried it before. <laughs> so there's a reason. There's always a reason Haitians do what they do. Being materially poor doesn't necessarily mean poor. Like, mm -hmm. like Haiti's a poor country, but the people are not necessarily, you know, poor in their minds. Like, it's not like they need a savior. Honestly, I will say one of the biggest problems in Haiti is too many nonprofits. That's, I think that's a big challenge, especially the nonprofit that are run by, um, for lack of a better term, foreigners. Yeah. Because there is always, uh, I've worked for multiple uh, American organization in Haiti. Mm -hmm. I feel like there's always a push to make what they created in Haiti a replica of America, mm -hmm. you know, which will never work. Mm -hmm. You know, there's always a push to build like we build in America, to cook like we cook in America, to, you know, wanting to have AC, wanting to have this, wanting to have that. I mean, they're all great things, but because they work in America doesn't mean they're going to work in Haiti don't go with what's flashy, what's popular, what's everyone, what everyone's doing, but find organizations that are run by locals. Like, um, from my experience in Haiti, the best work I've seen are people who don't have a website, who don't have a blog, who don't have a Facebook page. These are the, I, I, I've seen, these are the best uh, work I've seen, like in terms of nonprofit. It's usually the people who, we're not trying to show anybody the world what they do. So, um, and, and you know, this is coming from their heart. Um, mm -hmm. So it's not, so yeah, so my, my biggest advice is do your research. Um, if possible, travel places, you know, establish relationships in, in, in no, be, before you just, dump money into something yeah <laughs> the history of creole was when the slaves came from africa mm -hmm. they were from different tribes like different countries like you name it like nigeria cameroon or congo all those countries they come to haiti and they didn't speak the same language because they were not you know africa's huge and the the whoever was the was the colonizer back then forced them to speak their language. And French ended up, you know, colonized Haiti. So everyone was, were forced to speak French, although they did not necessarily speak French or the same language. So they came up with Creole so they could speak among themselves so that the French didn't understand. So it was like, right. yeah, so it's like uh, they combine like different, African dialects in French and Spanish. So they come up with that language where now they can speak speak without their boss, you know, their owner knowing what, they're what they what they're saying. So that's <laughs> yeah, that's so that's what that's how uh, Creole came about. It's such a, a street language. You can make it. You can make it up as you go. <laughs> you know, make it up as you go. <laughs> yeah, which makes it very difficult for somebody. Like, like if you if you learn Creole like properly, you can. You might still find it difficult to follow along in Haiti, because mm -hmm. 
patients make it up as they go. Like, <laughs> like my mom, I feel like my mom speaks her own language. <laughs> I will always ask her, like, how did you come up with that? Is that a word? And she's like, yeah, you know what that means. <laughs> but like, I, I really hope, I hope for um, political stability. Mm -hmm. that's the biggest one i will tell you the, the day that haiti has this it, you know you will look for me in the u.s you won't find me <laughs> 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 uh and i feel like you know it's it's such a beautiful country people are so resilient they work hard with what they have and as long as it's, it's safe for people to go about their days i feel like it will be one of the most prosperous countries, honestly. So that's what I hope.